So you, you put this, we make this nano car, the first nano car we made with the motor in it, had this motor, and this motor would spin when you shine light on it, but it would spin at 1.8 revolutions per hour. Turn it slow. But then when we pulled out this sulfur atom and closed this down to a five member ring, then it's going three million rotations per second. So small changes at this level have a big effect. So what do we do? Oh, well, you just erase that sulfur atom and then you go across to there. But you can't do that in real. That took us back to step one in the synthesis. But again, it took us a billion years to get here in nature. How do you go back to here? Nobody knows how you, and this is trivial compared to nature's complex systems. This is trivial compared to what you do with biological systems. This is silliness in comparison. <clears throat> then once you deal with the synthesis, which you can't deal with, because you have to make the four classes of compounds, which nobody else has, has ever made ab initio from the beginning, starting in a, with prebiotic-like conditions. Even using advanced synthetic techniques, it's tough. But then you have to assemble them into a cell.